Hello everyone, and welcome to the big one. Ah, don't you love that PlayStation noise? I said that about the PS2 video, didn't I? But, you know what? I like this good startup, this good startup noise that some of the games have. But, here we go, Sony Computer Entertainment of America. Back when Sony actually used to be good. And like I said, this is the big one. This is Final Fantasy VII. This is arguably the most iconic and well-known Final Fantasy game of them all. And I like this game quite a bit. And I love this music quite a bit. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is not the, uh, the Final Fantasy VII of... <laughs> <laughs> the Final Fantasy VII is not the Final Fantasy in my heart of hearts that I love the most, but I do love this game, and I am looking forward to playing through it again. It's probably been maybe around ten years or so since the last time I played this, and what I am also looking forward to is hearing from you guys little things I may have missed, because there's a lot to this game, and even though I've played it several times over what, uh, almost the last 17 years that this game has been, uh, been in existence? I think 97 was when it came out? I'm sure there are all kinds of things that I have missed. All kinds of little tricks that I didn't catch during any of my playthroughs. So, as much as I want to just jump into the game, I think we're going to enjoy this opening credit crawl for a little bit and just enjoy the prelude music, which I just love so much. I remember being just a young kid, and whenever I wasn't feeling well, I would boot up one of my Final Fantasy games, usually a Final Fantasy II on the SNES, and just listen to the prelude, and just kind of like let the music kind of wash over me, and just let everything, everything that was bothering me just kind of fade away, and just give myself up to the music. And. You know what say, what, say what you will about the Final Fantasy series and where it's been and where it's gone, but I still think some of the best music in gaming comes out of Final Fantasy. There are some other great places to find gaming music too, like Mega Man and Castlevania, and Silent Hill. Silent Hill has some great music. And there are lots of other great places in music. The Mario series has great music, and the Sonic series had great music. But man, Final Fantasy is a great place for it too. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger has beautiful music. Squaresoft used to make such wonderful, wonderful things. Oh, there you go, 97. So I, I, I was right. Alright, so for whatever it's worth, I am playing this on my PS3. But I am playing it with my... Uh, original PlayStation uh, discs. So, I'm going to hit start, and we're going to start up the game. Alright, so we are going to play a new game. And I gotta get used to which buttons do what. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately, so the only thing going through my mind right now is space, the final frontier. Oh, all right, so am I going to get flack for calling her Aerith or Ares? We'll see, we'll see. As I go through the game, I'll probably go back and forth calling her both. Now, I know these, these cutscenes are real primitive by today's standard, but I love the way this stuff looked back during the late 90s. Oh, there we have it. Final Fantasy 
2007. And that's Midgar, right? I'm still trying to remember all these locations. This is the course in the opening cutscene for our game. You come on, follow me. There we go, we got control. I hold down X and you can run around, and I interact with the circle. Got potion off the back guard. Uh oh, getting attacked. Alright, now we go to the battle school. Any of you are familiar with the Final Fantasy games, this should be stuff you already know. But the battle screen is where we want to battle with our enemies. And our character right here, X Soldier, has the following options. Attack, magic, and item. Now I'm just going to attack. Because if I wait too long, these guys are just gonna sit there wailing on me. And that little green bar at the bottom is his action. Is it called the active time battle, I think it's called? That tells you when it's his turn and when it's not his turn. Alright, and we've gained experience and AP. I think experience is to level up your character, and AP is to level up your materia, which I don't know if we have it yet. But X Soldier leveled up. Another potion. Is it start? Select? Yes, yeah, select. Activates the cursor so you know where your character is and all the different ways you can go. So let's go talk to some of our friends over here. And we talk to our friends here as a tour. Right. Triangle brings up the menu. used to be in Soldier, all right. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He was in Soldier. He quit them and now is one of us. Didn't catch your name. Alright, so we can name our main character whatever we want, but we're going to keep the name Cloud. But remember how to use this. Cloud. Cloud, eh? I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job is over, I'm out of here. The hell are you all doing? I thought told you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. And this is Barrett. Barrett is Mr. T to me. So I will be doing my worst Mr. Well, my best Mr. T impersonation, which will be a worst Mr. T impersonation, so bear with me. You push the direction button while pushing the cancel button to run. Earlier marked X. And that's where we're heading. Oh, and we just got into a random battle. 
I didn't know they started out here. But I'm going to explore around a little bit and see what I can find. Right. If you press select in battle, you also get an explanation of what everything does. Let's see if I have any magic right now. Okay, ice and bolt. Well, let's try hitting the enemy with bolt attack. That is a guard and Magic uh, does damage differently than our normal attacks, and also has elemental types. And certain enemies are stronger and weaker to certain elemental types of damage. Let's see what we here. Might get attacked when I'm looking around. I'm gonna look around, keep your eyes open for treasure chests, things that look unusual that might have items hiding in them. Trash can, or maybe like a, a shiny, shiny object. It's been a long time since I played this. Everything seems so, so much denser, so much tighter than I'm used to. Almost, almost getting a little claustrophobic. Maybe it's just a small screen that I'm playing on. I'll try not to sing along with the music, but it may happen. Or hum along with the music is probably better. the escape passage. Concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez, we're really going to blow up this huge furnace? This is something to see. Now, what are these little guys? Mono drive. Put them down nice and easy regardless. They don't hit hard either. have to say. You! Is this your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know? The planet's full of Mako energy. Even they use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet. But Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these wind machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. That's it. You come with me from now on. Alright, so now we have Barrett in the party. There he is, right there in the middle. So, now when we get into battle, we'll have Cloud and Barrett to choose from when we fight. Now, there is something we can do in here. We can change the order. We can move them around or change whether they're in the front or the back. Now, being in the back, a character takes less damage when they're attacked, but they do less damage. But thankfully, Barrett uh, fights with a, a gun. 
which is a long-ranged weapon, so he'll do the same damage from front or back. And Cloud fights with his sword, so he does more damage in front, but he takes more damage. Um, Barrett does get some weapons that aren't guns, but right now I think he just has his gun. Code deciphered. And off they go. Think how many of our people risk their lives just for this code. Code deciphered. Let's see if we got anything down here. Oh, and there is one of those treasure chests that's on the left. Receive Phoenix Down. Phoenix Down is a healing item that will revive your uh, allies if they get knocked out in a fight. Hopefully you won't need it too often. Push that button over there. Switch on. Little by little, reactors drain out all the life. And that'll be that. It's not my problem. Planet's dying, Cloud! The only thing I care about is finishing this job before our security and the world of come. Barrett looks pissed. some materia in this area at some point, so that would be a good time to explain materia. And take all the potions. Potions are a healing item that recovers some of your HP. Uh, as the characters take damage, they lose HP, and once they lose all of their HP, they get knocked out. And you can't use them for anything anymore. Alright, I don't mind uh, grinding a bit like when you just fight over and over again. Because that's how you're going to power up your characters over time. They'll get stronger the more they fight. You also get more money you use to buy equipment. And you also get more AP, which you use to level up your material. But any grinding that I do for money and items and stuff like that, I'll try to do off screen so that I don't have to bore you guys with it. Hop. That was automatic. Push the OK button in front of a ladder to grab onto it. After that, use the directional button to move up and down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to jump on this ladder. Just climb down. Can't go any faster than this. And we'll, we got a little blue item here. Potion. Not bad. Push the OK button in front of the ladder to grab onto it. Yeah, we know that. Way. Thank you. Oh. 
After the fight, I'll explain to you what I just saw. Oh, we got a big one this time. We got the right first. I think Cloud just did a critical hit there. That would happen randomly based on your luck. Oh, now here's a chance to show you our limits. After a character takes enough damage, that pink bar will fill up, allowing them to use their limit, which is a special attack that does extra damage. And right now, Cloud has limit level 1 Braver, so we're going to use that against the Sweeper. Not quite enough to put it down. See that down there? Kind of looks like a uh, question mark. Those are the save points. And those are our best friend. We're going to save our game. Now, just like I did with the uh, Raven Wolf playthrough, I'm going to cycle through my, my slate save slots. So that way I can always go back to an older save to do something. I'll probably just keep three or four. So if you guys know any little tricks, or know of something I may have missed, let me know, and I'll go back and see if I can get it. But, you know, let's not go back like six or seven videos. I'll try to upload these fairly regularly. And also, feel free to give me hints on things that are about to come up. But, you know, since we're right now just in the first stage, don't tell me stuff that's going to be happening at the end of the game when we're running around the Northern Crater. And I know the game's like 17 years old, but, uh... You know, let's, let's try to be polite to the people that are seeing it for the first time and not give everything away. So, anything down here? Yep, that looks like where we want to go next. There's a door back behind us, too. We are going to hit the sweeper with a bolt of light. The sweeper, I think, is a machine, and if I remember my... My elemental types correctly, uh, machines tend to take more damage from electrical attacks. That was good. Now, see, that's one of the good things about this game. Even though Cloud was uh, directed to attack another Grunt, since it was dead, his attack went back to whatever viable target there was. Older Final Fantasy games, you have to be more careful with that. Because if you attack an enemy, or if you directed them to attack an enemy, and then that enemy ended up being dead, you were out of luck. You lost a, a turn. Let's see anything there? Oh, there we go. Received Restore Materia. So, Materia. How do you equip Materia? I gotta remind myself. The magic menu just shows you the magic that a particular character has. So maybe it's the equipment. How about we give Barret? There we go. His weapon is the Gatling gun. His armor is the bronze bangle. And he has no accessory. Now, if you see here on the Gatling gun, it has one slot. How do I get to it? The bronze bangle had no, has nothing. Is it too early to equip material? When we blow this place, this ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch, make sure you don't pull none. Fine, be my guest. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Glad? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry.
Heads up! Here they come! Alright, I think this is our first boss fight of the game. There we go. We're gonna use a potion to restore some of Cloud's health. What we're fighting with is a robot. I'm gonna hit it with lightning bolts. Barrett uh, doesn't have any magic, so we're just gonna shoot. Well, this is gonna keep throwing lightning bolts at it. Barrett, be careful. Attack while its tail's up, it's gonna counter attack with its laser. Alright, well, tail's up, I attack. Let's see what the tail laser does. And it hits all of us pretty hard. But Barrett's ready for his limit break. So while its tail is up, we're just going to defend. We're gonna take no action to protect ourselves, so we'll take a little less damage if it does attack. Tail down, so Barrett is going to use his limit breaker. Big shot. Not bad, there's almost as much damage as a bolt. Experience and 10 AP. And we get an assault gun for our trouble. I'm pretty sure it's a weapon for Barrett. Come on, let's get out of here. 10 minutes to detonation. Alright, so we got 10 minutes to get out of this place. Which I think is more than enough time. Assault gun on. And I wish I would have a I gotta figure out how to put the tear You're pretty foolish right now. Make you guys sit here wait. Just run for it. Save smart, save often. Alright. 
Uh, and these guys attacked us from behind. This happens randomly. Uh, when you're attacked from behind, you take a little extra damage until you turn around. Sometimes you can attack the enemy from behind as well, in which case you'll do a little extra damage. Alright, enough celebrating, we gotta move. Six minutes left. Run! It's gonna blow! 